the A40KT was one of the dead ends of war technology. Built in 1942, the Antonov A40KT is one of the most original and mysterious Soviet weapon designs from the Second World War. In the 1930s, with the development of aviation and the emergence of parachute troops, there was a problem with providing adequate weapons to paratroopers dropped behind enemy lines. The basic armament of the airborne troops was too weak to provide the ability to fight against targets such as armored vehicles or more fortified resistance points. At that time, many countries began to look for a way to drop armored vehicles together with paratroopers. Oleg Antonov, the Soviet aircraft designer, was not the only one who came up with the idea of adding wings to the tanks. Projects of this type of weapon began to be created, among others, in Great Britain, the USA, and Japan. While the British and Americans ultimately decided that the best solution was to build powerful gliders capable of transporting single tanks, the Russians took a slightly different approach. In the late 1930s in the USSR, attempts were made to drop vehicles such as tankettes or armored cars from TB-3 or PE-8 bombers. The disadvantage of this solution was that the crews had to be dropped separately because if they were inside the vehicles, the overloads and forces acting when they touched on the ground could be fatal or, at best, very painful. Therefore, after landing, the soldiers each had to reach the vehicle on the ground before it was taken over by the enemy. In the end, the project was discontinued and the Soviet Army High Command commissioned Oleg Antonov to design a more proven glider that was to transport light tanks to the front. However, the constructor decided that the construction of the glider is not the optimal solution. Instead, he decided to develop a special rack with wings attached to the tank, allowing it to glide and land safely with the crew inside. In theory, the system had only advantages. The tank was to be delivered to the front line together with the crew, so they didn't need to waste any time getting to the vehicle. And the vehicle itself, after unhooking from the wings, could immediately go into action, much faster than unloading from the glider. A prototype of a flying tank named Antonov A-40 or A-40KT was completed in April 1942 and on August 7th or September 2nd, 1942, depending on the sources. The only flight of the machine took place. The wings were mounted on a lightened, stripped of armament and ammunition T-60 tank with a small reserve of fuel, which had to be lifted into the air by a TB-3 bomber. During takeoff, it turned out that the old TB-3 engines were too weak to raise the A-40 to the correct height. The whole thing was not able to rise higher than 40 meters so the pilot decided to detach the glider much earlier to avoid a stall. According to one version of events, the tank piloted by Sergei Anokhin landed correctly. In the second version of events, the vehicle landed outside the planned landing site. Either way, it became clear that the technical obstacles exceeded the benefits of the tank's winged capability. In addition, the Russians had no opportunity to use such vehicles because they did not conduct large-scale amphibious operations. Also, the T-60 tank presented rather poor combat capabilities, especially in 1942. Thus, the project was abandoned.